Uh, Robin from Oberlin um, is asking, what is my position on mandated COVID-19 vaccination? Look, I'm, I'm against it. Uh, very simple. I think at the end of the day, uh, we should not be requiring people to take the vaccine. Uh, I have told, I have advised people in my family uh, to get vaccinated. I'm not against vaccination. Uh, I think that for a lot of people, it makes a lot of sense. But at the end of the day, that should be your choice. And uh, look, it's a new vaccine. Uh, it's still relatively experimental in nature. Our public health officials have lost the trust of the people by being on every side of every issue and being very political in the way that they give guidance. So I, I, I don't think that you can live in that society where no one has trust justifiably in our public health authorities and be forced to put something in your body that they're telling you to put in your body. Look, if they want our trust and they want our confidence, the best way to do it is through persuasion and not mandates. Uh, we live in a constitutional republic. Uh, we live in a country where informed citizens get the right to make decisions for themselves in their personal lives and their government lives. Uh, and, and we should be trusting people enough to reason with them, to level with them, to make arguments and let them make the decision about what they want to do with these vaccines. Uh, look, I, I, you know, the, the, the crazy thing that's going on is that the vaccine mandates, I think, have totally warped our understanding of this virus. Um, at the end of the day, should re we require a 19-year-old who's already had COVID, so they already have natural immunity, to put an experimental vaccine into their body? I don't think there's any scientific or health reason to justify that. But we become so political about this, where it's like we're going to force people to take the vaccine, uh, that we're going to you know, force it on 19-year-old kids who've already had COVID. I don't think it makes any sense. Uh, and it's making our society hate one another. It's making our people hate one another. If you look at the way this COVID conversation has evolved over the last few months, you know, it's gone from, you know, we're, we're all in this together. We've got to, you know, find some way of living our lives while still respecting the risk of the virus. And now it's like, look at the way that Biden talks about people who aren't vaccinated. He talks about them like they're vermin, like they're subhuman beings, like they're not even deserving of the respect that we should all give our fellow citizens because of a medical decision they want to make. I'm sick of talking about our fellow citizens like they're pond scum. We need to show respect for one another. And one of the most important ways to do that is not to force our fellow citizens to do something they don't want to do. Let's talk to each other first. Uh, looks like we 